Hello everybody, it's me, the Ruler Comaniac. I'm back again with another game review. Now once again, as you can see, today I'll be playing another game on the ZX Spectrum, and that game is ATV Simulator. Now guys, I have been doing loads of ZX Spectrum games over the last couple of days, because basically it's been the week of the ZX Spectrum. I've got a few more videos of ZX Spectrum uh, to go, and then once I've done that, the following week I've got loads, and I mean loads of 8-bit war videos. Right, so let's get going with this um, game here. Now, it's done by Codemasters. I got this when I was a youngster. It was for a budget game, and what a budget game it was. Now, this really amazing music uh, is done by David Whittaker, and I think it's got that David Whittaker trademark sound to it. Now, I'm not going to play the whole tune and stuff like that. Now, if you guys do want to listen to the whole of the music, you can definitely find that and check it out on Ototo 72's uh, YouTube channel. He's got loads of classic Spectrum tunes as well as this. So, yeah, feel free to check that out. So, let me sort out my controls. I go for the classic thing, which is 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. And the reason why I went for that was because when you move the joystick, those were the... Um, numbers that came up when you moved it left and right and so on so that's what I became used to so it's a nice little game here you ride your little quad bike or a old Terran vehicle now I was really amazed by this this game is split screen by the way guys so it was always fun playing it against a friend I never actually ever managed to finish this game it's a bit of a tough game it's all about skill this and that is something unfortunately I haven't got now the graphics, you know, they're, they're nicely done. I, I like the animation on the uh, little character there when he runs and on the actual um, little bike itself. The backgrounds are very simple, but you know what? It's This game, like I said, it's all about gameplay. Look, you're in the desert there, you've got like a little um, tree there in the background, clear blue sky. And I always like throwing myself off there. So moving on to the second level. I don't know how far I'll get in this, guys, because it has been a while since I've actually played this. Um, but yeah, I really love this game, and the reason why I love this game was because I was a big fan of Kickstart 2 on the Spectrum Commodore and Amstrad, and this game plays very, very similar. This is a lot tougher though. Uh, speaking about Kickstart, I will be doing um, that video, 8-Bit Wars, somewhere uh, next week. Oh crap, I was on such a roll there. Like I said, it just takes one wrong uh, move on this and you can mess up big time. It's about knowing how to take the uh, jumps and stuff like that. Woohoo, I got past that. Yeah, I think it's got about seven levels, but I've only managed to get to like about the fourth one, I believe. Yeah, I've probably got to get to the one after this one. And that's what I like about this game. All the levels are different themes all around the world. Different backdrops, although they're simple. I mean, look, you know you're somewhere there because they've got igloos, they've got like a ship in the background, and I messed that up big time. There's no real other way I could have messed this up even worse than I have done now because my bike, my ATV little vehicle there, it's just, I'm going to fall down that hole. And then once I fall down there, there's no real way of escaping. Oh, crap. You can turn left and right if you did make a mistake, but there's no point me turning because... Um, I'm stuck right in the middle of that big sort of like iceberg thing there. Oh crap. Well guys, honestly, um, if you haven't played this game, please check it out. If you've never sort of like given it a go, you'll be pleasantly surprised. I mean, it looks very simple, but it's highly addictive. It's a great fun game. I'm probably making it look a lot tougher than it actually is. Once you've mastered what exactly how you're meant to take the jumps, you'll be fine. Ah oh, man, I hate that bloody seal. Now I'm not for killing seals, but you know that little seal there with the ball there. I, I do feel like shooting him. I know that's wrong, but I can't get my bloody bike. All right then, guys. I think I'm going to end this video because I'm running out of time. I'm the Rule Local Maniac, and I shall see you next time with a few more ZX Spectrum videos. And like I said, guys, loads, and I mean loads more. 8-Bit Wars next week. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Goodbye.